Okay, back again. All right. What does God want for you? So I really want to address the addicts, the alcoholics, and the narcissists. So here's the deal. If you are focused so much on getting the, the next high, the next drink, the next scam, okay, you are definitely stuck in a loop. You're stuck in a loop. You're consumed by these evil entities that have power over you. Your soul is not leading you in a life of living because your quote life is really existing and surviving off of contaminating, injuring, harming, stealing, um, lying, and manipulating other people. So it really requires a total surrender. And what that means is for you to make a decision and then after that decision to have an absolute surrender of, you know what? The life that I know, the life that I'm existing in isn't really working for me. Do I really wanna continue to vandalize cars, steal cars, steal people's assets, you know, call upon hookers and whores, have crazy sex parties, get involved with porn, lie to the person that I love, lie to my family, steal to my family. If you were caught up in any of that drama, you're not living your life. The spirit entities have control over you and you're a host. So if the soul within you can get beyond all the craziness and drama that's around you, here's my prayer for you. My prayer for you is that you get down and that you say to yourself, get down on your knees and pray to God, help me, help me get out of this crazy situation. Help me get out of these demons and devils and entities that have a hold on me. Help me get out of this death experience. Help me get out of this grave. Bring me into life. Show me who you are, God. Show me what the cross is. Show me the truth about the cross and the death and the resurrection and that Jesus, Yeshua, Messiah, is seated at the right hand of the Father and that he is there for you by way of the Holy Spirit with your choice, your decision, your belief in the cross, in the death, in the resurrection and the request for the Holy Spirit to come and live inside your body temple and to take over and to regenerate you into a new person full of life. Now, the possibility for anybody who is an addict to experience real recovery, the possibility is there. The choice, your free will is up to you. So what you choose to do with that, I leave that with you. So my inspiration, my prayer for you, my friends, my brothers and sisters, is that you will right now choose to make a new decision about the insanity that you've been living in your life because it's no life to live because addiction and alcoholism and narcissism is going to lead into three places it's going to lead you into jail into a hospital or hospitalization or it's going to lead you to death those are the three places you're going to end up so you might as well surrender and try on Jesus for size. And guess what? Your entire life will change. But that has to be a true, desperate surrender. So I invite you to take that surrender, to say, God help me, God lead me, God show me. And for you to give up your ego, give up all your manipulation tactics and ask God to redeem you because God does want your soul. He, God loves his children and you are his child, but you're not his child when you're working for Satan.
You're not his child when you're doing all the evil things that you're doing. God can still love you, but he cannot bless you unless you choose to want to be under God's guidance and God's authority. And that means obeying the Ten Commandments and being in alignment with who God is, who he created you to be in God's image, and receiving the Holy Spirit and letting the Holy Spirit guide you and your life. And if that's not happening, my friends, then you're into some sad awakenings. Have a good day. My prayer is out to you for those who take it.